Hi everyone, I want to show you a super quick way to print Melodyne's edits. So what I'll do is I'll create an auxiliary input and if it's for a mono track, I'll match that with the auxiliary input. And once you do that, you can just simply drag Melodyne to the auxiliary input because Melodyne contains all of the audio from the track and of course all your edits that you've done in it. Then just route the output to an available bus and choose that same bus for the input of that track and enable recording and you can go ahead and record that in. Now, there are two steps I'd recommend to just make this a little bit easier for you in the long run. One is before you print it, I recommend create a new playlist. So just do new and then I recommend naming it something like pitched or whatever so that as it creates the audio file, you'll know that it's a pitched audio file because the name will transfer over. The other thing I recommend is if you like to hear it being played back in time as you're printing it, then when you go to your delay compensation settings in your mixer window, you'll want to right click and make sure that you've turned auto low latency off so that the numbers are blue here. Otherwise, you will hear the audio playback a little bit early. Now, this isn't a necessary step as after you're done printing, Pro Tools will actually place the audio in the right place, regardless of whether you have turned auto low latency off or not. And so we'll go ahead and record here. I can feel it coming when I look up to the sky. Okay, so you could see that as I was going through the track, the audio looks exactly the same. So that also means that once you're done printing it, if you drag Melodyne back down, you can make it inactive. And uh, you're going to basically hear exactly the same thing as if Melodyne was there. You're going to maintain all your automation, all your effects. And if you decide later you need to make a change with that, you can make Melodyne active again, make the change. And if you want to reprint it, drag it back up to the auxiliary input, record it again into your track. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe and I'll keep them coming. Thanks.